Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about the different trigger types for triggering your mega menus and mega tooltips with the Divi Mega Pro plugin. So the default trigger for Divi Mega Pro is hover. And that's pretty much what you see out there in the wild with different mega menus and drop down menus and everything where when you hover over a menu item, it will trigger the mega menu. And so that's what people are used to and it's a really good user experience. It doesn't require them to, to guess whether or not if they click, if it's gonna trigger something or go to a new page and so forth. And so um, that's typically what we recommend for mega menus especially is the hover uh, and is in mega tooltips as well. However, there's some cases where you might want to trigger it with a click instead. And so uh, you have that ability with the Divi Mega Pro and it's very easy to do. So I'm gonna show you that now. We're gonna go to our test mega menu that we set up in a previous tutorial. And what you wanna do is scroll all the way down to the right sidebar and see where it says Mega Pro additional settings. And we have the trigger type. So tra change the trigger type from hover to click and then scroll up and click update. So that's all you do to change it from hover to click. And I'm gonna refresh our demo site here. And it'll be a little bit hard to distinguish in the video whether or not I'm hovering or clicking, um, but you'll have to take my word for it here. So uh, I'm hovering over get a quote, nothing happens, but when I click, then you can see that it triggers. So. Sometimes you might want to do that. However, one thing we, we need to point out is for a menu item that has a page connected to it. So this get a quote, if you go to the WordPress menu items, it's a custom link. It's not connected to a page and we can show you how to do that here. However, this contact us is So watch when I click, it's going to immediately trigger the mega menu, but then it's going to go also to that page. So it triggers the mega menu, but now it's loading the contact us page. And that's because this menu item is connected to an actual page where get a quote is not, it's a custom link. And so I'm gonna show you what the difference here is in the appearance settings under menus. You can see there's contact us and here's get a quote. Get a quote is a custom link. And so you can uh, put in a custom URL. However, we're just gonna have it be we can actually make it something like open or something like that, um, where contact us is connected to a page. And so the, the way that you add that is you would go to custom links here on the left sidebar. Again, just put a number sign, open, something like that, and custom link, click add to menu. And now you have your custom link. And remember, within screen options is how you get the CSS classes and link relationship, which is needed to trigger the mega menu. So, um, so that's what that looks like to add a custom link. So if you do want to use a click trigger for your mega menu, and it's going to be triggering from your main navigation, make sure it's a custom link and not a page that you add to the menu. Otherwise, it's not going to work correctly. And so uh, you want to want to make sure that that's clear. Uh, so that is how you change the trigger type from a hover to a click. And again, make sure that if you have it from the main nav, you have it as a custom link so it doesn't change the page as soon as the user clicks. Uh, another option too, because as you know, Divi Mega Pro isn't just about creating mega menus, you can also create really awesome mega tooltips. So for example, here I ch already changed the mega tooltip that we created in the mega tooltip demo. Uh, documentation tutorial, and I changed it from a hover type to a click. So when you click more details, rather than going to a new page, it pops open the form here. And of course you can add whatever you want into this mega tool tip, but that's what that looks like here is uh, to make it a, a click instead of a hover. Personally, I prefer the hover. I think it's a little more user friendly. However, there's definitely times where a click uh, is better for the user. So that's it for this tutorial, and we will see you on the next one.